What's up guys, Henry Hopkin here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to import a skeleton mesh into Unreal Engine. So more specifically, we wanna get a player model from Rust into Blender and then into Unreal Engine. So to do that, you have to make your Rust file that has the player model already in it. So this is my example of the player model. And I'm gonna delete the, what's it called? I'm gonna delete all the extra clothing and stuff because this will otherwise me mess up the mesh, you know? So where is it? I'm gonna put these on. Delete this, delete this. Wait, hold up, whoops. Delete this. All right, now we have it here. We can hide this. Select all this. Make sure you get the armor chisel. So you have all this. All right, good. And now you go to File, Export, FBX, and selected objects, turn off, uh, just put on empty mesh, okay, mesh, empty, boom. And under geometry, turn off apply modifiers. All right, and this should be good. So let's name it player model. And export it, that should be about it. Now you gotta go to Unreal Engine. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna just make a new project. So let's go under architecture and choose blank. Okay, we're here. Now just make a new folder called player model. Open it up and drag the files you need in here. So let's look where it is. Player model, boom, put it here, import all. Close this. Now we have our play model. Nice. So you can tell the textures are messed up. To fix this, I'm gonna show you guys a few ways on how to fix the nodes. So first off, we're gonna click on the play model, go to materials, open it up. On the left side, we'll see what material it is. So it's the male body part, okay? So we're gonna change the specular first, because this is specular, and it's in the roughness channel, which is wrong. So I'm just gonna delete this and put it in roughness, uh, in specular, sorry. And then we wanna have it have the skin have a color. So we're gonna type in lerp, all right? We're gonna put this here and this here, and boom, lerp. And I'm gonna go find our initial texture for the body, material thingy. So have it here, put this here, change the color. If you want a skin color, skin hex, whatever it's called. I'm just gonna grab from down here. Th these ones don't work for some reason. You're gonna grab one of these down here. Just gonna grab this. And I'm just gonna put it here. Boom. And we have it done, boom. And I just apply it, close it, and we have it here. It's not perfect, but I think that's due to the lighting or something. It'll be fine for now, all right? Same thing for the head, so just grab it, grab it from the previous part. This, you know, you, what's it called? Grab this two, these two copy it, open this up, boom, put this here, uh, delete this, put it in specular, delete this, put it this here, boom. I found the mistake, I used the specular twice, which is wrong, I had to use this. All right, now it should be fine, All right, uh, apply. All right, now we're chilling, same skin, looks nice, right? And let's just do the eyelashes and eyes as well real quick. So this is the eyelashes. You're gonna change the opaque or whatever material mode into translucent. All right, cool, eyelashes, into opacity, apply, cool. Close this, and now grab the eyes as well, real quick. What is this, by the way? Oh, this is the eyes, cool. And just, it's actually good. It's actually pretty good. You know what, this, we'll go with this. This is actually pretty good, cool. And close this up. And if you wanna fix the outer eyes, I recommend just watching this video. It's a bit bit of a longer video, but this is how this is how it's supposed to look like. I'll link it down in the description. And boom, it's done. It's definitely not perfect because you can see the edges here and stuff, but if you add the meshes on top of it, it should be fine. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.